Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome back to my DIY channel. Today we are taking an old household item and turning it from drab to fab. To keep up with my beach house theme, today we will be sprucing up an old laundry basket I have lying around the house. All we need is some rope, paint, and a lot of DIY magic. Let's get crafty! First, make sure your workstation is set up and all your materials are ready. Take an old laundry basket and turn it over and hot glue some rope and wrap it around the entire basket. Patience is a virtue and the key is to have a lot of glue sticks. When you reach the top, tuck the rope just under the lip of the basket. And we're done! Now for the fun part! It's time to paint! We are doing a subtle ombre using two shades of color. For the darker shade, it'll be the Boysen Permacoat Latex Madonna Blue 0590 and for the lighter shade, it'll be the Boysen Permacoat Latex Babbling Freak 0588. With a lighter shade, we are going to start a quarter of the way from the top, dry brush the paint, and work your way down to the middle of the basket. So if you would like to even out your paint, just dab it on the different parts before you spray. Quickly paint the bottom half of the darker shade while the lighter paint is still wet. Blend the part where two shades meet with a lighter color. Make sure the paint is still wet to create the ombre effect. It's looking so pretty now. Once you're done painting around the whole basket, let it dry for two hours. Super easy. To create our lining, we are going to need a 25 by 45 inch fabric. Fold the tunnel at both ends. Pull the garter through the tunnel with a safety pin and secure both ends with a pin. Sew the sides, including the garter. And that's it! A lining for your laundry basket. Place the lining inside the basket and tuck under the lid. And my rope laundry basket is done! Now I've got a pretty container to organize all my clutter. If you have any old laundry baskets lying around the house, you know what to do. Thank you for watching, hit like and subscribe and for more DIY content, check out StudioB and MyVoiceIn.com. I'll see you in the next episode, bye!